What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Jeepers Creepers 5 in this video here again today. We're taking a break from Alistair's more than competent concept for a Jeepers Creepers 2 sequel to dig into this ongoing lawsuit a little further because some juicy new details have come out from the recent meetings that kind of flip what we thought we knew on its head because again all of that stuff was alleged but it looks like more evidence has been provided has shifted the court's opinion on the matter i would say so if you recall this was supposed to be over this month this ongoing suit but now this jeepers creepers 4 lawsuit is not going to face a jury trial until september now just as a refresher we know this legal battle stems from this case arising out of a dispute concerning the production and distribution of the fourth movie in the jeepers creepers movie franchise you have your plaintiff myriad pictures who is moving for summary education on the single issue of whether defendants infinity films holding and brandon farm owed a contractual duty to plaintiff of the right of first negotiation and last refusal to the exclusive sales representative or to be the exclusive sales representatives on projects infinity and branded control which are based on jeepers creepers motion picture franchise so from the latest meeting that occurred on the 4th of january this month paperwork and emails dated back from 2017 and 2018 were brought in as evidence. One such email was directly from Michael O'Hoven, who is head of Infinity Films, to Kirk D'Amico at Myriad Pictures, where it read, Please see attached offer I have received for the next two Jeepers. I didn't have the chance to review our agreement with you thoroughly yet, but I know you always have matching rights. So from the outside looking in, and this being evidence that they've provided Infinity and Myriad were indeed at least aiming to do Jeepers Creepers 4 and 5 together, but I guess things got a little rocky. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to get into what appears to have made things a little bit rocky and why we ended up where we're at with the lawsuit. There was also a letter from a lawyer to Myriad on Infinity's behalf that read, This letter is provided to Myriad Pictures in connection with Myriad's right of first negotiation and last refusal to act as the exclusive sales representative of any subsequent productions based upon Jeepers Creepers 3 as set forth in the term sheet. Attached to the letter is a copy of Oro's offer, which we know is Jake Seals' company, who actually still has up on their site Jeepers Creepers 5 coming soon. But it says attached to the letter is a copy of Oral's offer to market, sell, and distribute Jeepers Creepers 4 and 5 and a copy of the script and deck synopsis for Jeepers Creepers 4 Reborn. Now the letter, the letter further indicates that the foregoing information and attachments are adequate information for Myriad to assess whether it intends to exercise its right of right of last refusal to act as the exclusive sales representative for Jeepers Creepers 4. Michael O'Hoven also, in this bit of evidence that's listed here in this new update in, in regards to this, in this case, Michael O'Hoven is disclosing that Kirk D'Amico either intentionally or unintentionally misrepresented having rights to first negotiation and last refusal because he learned the representation of those rights were false and Myriad's genre label Scoundrel Media has actually been inactive since sometime in 2018. So the courts ended up deciding enough factual evidence was provided by Infinity and Brandon Farms. Enough evidence now exists that makes it unclear if Infinity ever owed anything to Myriad to begin with. Look, man, the reason this is all very relevant to a Jeepers Creepers 5 is because this is currently, this ongoing suit is currently the biggest thing that's holding it up. This legal proceeding that won't resolve itself until September of this year. Now, nine times out of 10, Jeepers Creepers 5 isn't even going to continue chasing Lane's story, and it really shouldn't. However, regardless of the story that unfolds, does any of it matter if these producers show the same lack of care that went into fourth? The answer is no. And it seems like Myriad Pictures will be wasting their time with this court crap if they indeed misrepresented themselves whether it be intentional or unintentional i'm going to predict that if we don't hear an announcement of sorts from jake seals oral studios company or michael O'Hoven's infinity films by spring or fall of this year since it's been 23 years since the last feeding cycle for that monster this will be the 23rd year i believe Jeepers Creepers 5 probably won't happen anytime soon, but the legal proceedings continue to demonstrate that they want to do 5, or they definitely wanted to at one point, because I'd imagine they'd still pursue it once this is resolved at one point or another. But you can take any survivor, I would say, if they wanted to do a story. Let's say you could take any survivor from 2, do a story around them, and as long as you make a comment, there will be no complaints. We know Timo's not going to be back to direct. He's already talked about that, so we don't have to worry about that. 
Shawn Michael Argo, who you know wrote four, previously mentioned four was already something that the producers pre-planned, and he was brought in to fulfill that plan because his fourth movie would have likely been a true sequel to two with Trisha if it were up to him. So you have that, you have Timo gone, and again, the ongoing lawsuit currently, from what we can measure, is the biggest hurdle in the way of five. If I don't hear anything, or if we don't hear anything by spring or fall of this year, I'm not gonna say the Jeepers Creepers 5 isn't happening. I'm just gonna say it's probably gonna be many more years until it happens. And it's still not even something really worth getting excited about until we know for 100% certainty that we are going to get something that is competently made. We've had one major blemish, and that is four. I'm not saying that three is anything perfect, but when it comes to blemishes, the major one out of all four movies is undoubtedly Jeepers Creepers 4. There's several things about 3 that are far better. In terms of the overall aesthetic, some of the performances are massively better. And a lot more star power exists in 3 too. Along with the fact that even though Jonathan Breck's makeup design as the Creeper wasn't to everyone's liking, the look of the Creeper is superior. Jeepers Creepers 4 is just a complete turd from top to bottom. So if we can get something competent after all of this is resolved, because I do believe they will try to do it. It's just a matter of will it be sooner or later? That's something that I think can be better understood as we move through this year. And if we hear anything from either one of these parties, because you could easily announce a fifth movie, especially when it was mentioned at one point in the suit that evidence was found that showcase that infinity intended to move forward and do five without myriad so again i think infinity michael ohoven and his people they intend to do a fifth film it's just a matter of they have to get this resolved first but the thing about it is michael ohoven and his people the producers involved you have to take this serious you have to produce something competent you have to get somebody who is passionate about horror in the at the helm somebody in the director chair get some quality actors involved i'm not saying they have to be these a-list stars that's not what anyone's really expecting it's all coming down to what your budget is how you use it and who you're hiring put some care behind your efforts that's all I'm saying. Don't just produce something for the sake of making money. I would hope that this suit actually pushes them to be a little bit more passionate about what they're doing, especially when you have still a, a fan base that will come out and see what you're putting out. But we'll just have to wait and see. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. You never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. See you in the next video.